Good morning, guys. So, some of you guys want to know what my hair looks like, what your hair may look like when you first take off your wig, your, what do you call this thing? Your satin cap. Um, my hair does not always get a satin cap because I do have a satin pillowcase. Um, and sometimes I have this on. I normally wrap this around just to keep my hair in place. Like, some people just on underneath their satin cap. I put this over top of my satin cap and normally I'll just put it on like this. Just so my cap stays on my head. Because I'm a wild sleeper sometimes. I can wake up this thing and end up on the floor. So, sometimes you can get, you know, another a hair wrap. Um, this one has some foam in it so it's a little bit thicker than your normal wrap. I don't like the thin ones. They're okay. They're not bad. They're not better for your hair if it has foam in it. Um, I just like the way this one feels because it's thicker than your normal, uh, I guess you call it head wrap. Um, but this is what my hair looks like today. I did not wrap it with any pins. My hair doesn't have anything in it. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is what it looks like right now. Um, I just wrapped it up last night. Um, you can just take and comb in the direction that you wrap your hair up in. Comb in that direction to wrap, unwrap your hair. And this is what my hair looks like out of my wrap. And I could just take and normally I do wear my hair like this, but when I'm at work, I have it in a ponytail. Um, but this is what my hair looks like. As you see, the comb can get straight through it. it has a little bit of bounce on both sides. Um, I do comb my hair straight back, but you know, just leave your hair like this and you can just get up and go. So your hair has a little bounce to it. You can have little parts. Like I literally wear my, hair, my part on this side of my hair. Um, and I probably have to take some of this out so you can see. You know what your hair will look like, and this is pretty much this is how your basic wrap is when you wake up out of it and you comb your hair up. So you can expect your hair to look similar to, if not, you know, more so like it right here. It um definitely helps hold the shape, and of course, I do brush my hair. Gotta get any strays out. <laughs> Gotta go. But this is what my hair is like now. So see, noticing that it really wants to go one way, um, and. That could be a bad thing if you, you know, wear your hair differently, but today my part's going to be on this side and tomorrow my part's going to be on this side because my hairstylist is, I see her, she's new, but I like to see hairstyles at least once every two months just to check, you know, make sure my hair is in good condition. I, said, I don't, you know, trim my hair that often, but when you unwrap your hair, this is what it looks like. Take so and brush it out real quick and you're pretty much good to go. I don't need to put any heat into my hair and that's part of the purpose that I wrap my hair is so it has a little bit of curl to it or a little bump so to say. Um, sorry I had to run down and get something. Um, but this is what it, this is what your hair looks like when you take it out of a wrap. So you guys watch. It took me not even a whole two minutes to do my hair. So you can keep your hair wrapped up in this. You can put this on there if you are fine like me that this always ends up on the floor. I do recommend getting a satin pillowcase just in case you know you don't want this and you don't want to put anything around your head because sometimes these can be a little tight and they can give you a headache. Um, but other than that, get yourself a satin pillowcase, a satin cap, satin scarf, satin bond, whatever you want to call it. Make sure it's satin and not cotton because cotton does dry your hair a little bit more. Um, and just wrap your hair up. I sprayed my hair last night with a little bit of oil sheen. Um, and yes, it was oil sheen. It wasn't oil because I needed something lighter to wrap my hair up in. And this is pretty much it. So. Yeah, if you're looking for a way to keep your hair straight and not have it all over your head where you don't need to use style tools in the morning and you really don't like do super extra stuff to your hair. And when I say super extra, I mean like spiral curls and everything else. If you have spiral curls, you can put a satin bonnet on, but I recommend doing pen curls, like rolling your curls up and putting a pen through them to hold them. So this way you don't have to use heat in your hair to like kind of refresh the curls, so to say. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you guys wanted to see how I unwrap my hair, how long it takes me. Like this video, maybe five minutes or four and a half minutes, but it was really took me not even a whole minute and a half to do my hair. And then I saw porn and I did anything else. So you guys see, my hair looks pretty cool. I can just go out the house and that's it. And I use no heating my hair. You guys see that I took the scarf off and brushed my hair and that pretty much was it. So I'll just chat with you guys later. All right. Bye.